Service. One of his duties is to follow climate issues for Southeast and June. One of the things that we watch very closely is the status of the El Nino or the ENSO. And earlier, last month, the month before that, it looked like we were going to have El Nino conditions developing into something of a moderate strength. In this past month, the El Nino signal has sizzled a little bit. And normally on an El Nino winter for us here in Southeast Alaska, that means a warmer than normal temperatures, daytime highs, overnight lows. When it's sizzling, we should and could expect more normal conditions. And right now, the El Nino forecast is for very, very weak El Nino or a neutral conditions which would support more of a normal conditions for us here in Southeast. He says normal conditions in December through February include typical daytime highs from 33 to 35 degrees, with overnight lows dipping to 24, 25. As far as snow, normal would include about 16 inches in December, around 27 in January, and 16 to 17 inches in March. This week, the region is experiencing what they call an Arctic outbreak. This is a wonderful winter pattern. We have a strong high pressure in the Yukon. We have low pressure off the coast of Washington State. And those two acting together are causing the airflow to come from British Columbia through the Coast Mountains, across the Panhandle, and out into the Gulf of Alaska. And that is why we have clear and sunny conditions. That's why it hasn't rained for several days now. And that's also why the air is really relatively dry relative humidities are pretty low right now. The forecaster says there are normally one or two Arctic outbreaks each winter. He says this one is extraordinarily early in the season, so he says there may be two or three this winter. Colder than normal weather has arrived in Fairbanks. The National Weather Service says for the first time this season, temperatures dip below zero at Fairbanks International Airport. The mercury fell to five degrees below zero at the airport shortly after 8 a.m. Monday.